Okay, here we have a question about a small business. It says that the business started off with a debt of $500,000, $500,000 in startup costs, um, and that it thinks it can pay off the debt at $85,000 a year. So it's going to pay it off at $85,000 a year. This is start. And that means that if we were to put in their current debt and let it be Y, that we could figure out what y is by taking negative 85,000 times x years plus the 500,000 that they started with and that would be how much they're currently in debt, right? So on the first year they wouldn't have paid off anything so we'd have negative 85 times 0 and they'd owe that 500,000 and then in the second year they'd have negative 85,000 times 1 or negative 85,000 plus that 500,000. So essentially we'd be subtracting this from this. So let's figure out how this equation would graph on a, on a chart. Let's do a couple of values real quick on our xy graph. And I learned my lesson before, so I'm going to do a straight line this way. There we go. So xy, um, when x is 1, we know now that uh, this would be 85,000 less than 500,000, so 415,000. Um, when x is zero, y was five hundred thousand. Um, so let's well, let's just start with that. Um, and then actually, we can do one more. Let's do when x is two, y would be three hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah, three hundred thirty thousand. And note that these are obviously in thousands. I just didn't want to bother writing all those zeros. So then, if we take this information and we graph it on an actual graph, it looks like this. Um, and take a look at the the scale that we chose here. You can see that y, obviously, if we were to put y as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like we did with x, that this graph would be right at the top of my screen and on and on and on, and you'd never see the other numbers. Um, so really, if we were to put this on a, a graph that had an even scale, this line would be really, really, really sharply vertical. It would look more like, I mean, if this is our origin, that line would look a lot more like this. I mean, it goes straight up, it would look like, because I mean, it would have to go way, 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 way up before it could intersect anywhere on that Y. So this angle here is a little bit uh, deceiving, so make sure you're, you're aware of that. Um, but if we take a look at the points that we actually plotted, the first year, they haven't paid off anything. I mean, at the beginning of the first year, they haven't paid off anything, so our number of years is zero, and their debt then is 500000 After three years, they've been paying off at 85000 a year, so in their third year, their debt is only 250000 and it looks like they would actually pay off the debt somewhere just before their sixth year, um, at which point their debt goes to zero, and they continue on after that in business without owing any more in that debt.